Hi, I'm Angie Bogust, and this is Shared Interest, a method to measure human AI alignment and identify recurring patterns in model behavior. To begin, let's imagine you've just trained an image classifier. It achieves high accuracy, but you want to know if it's making its predictions for the right reasons. So you select an image from your dataset to evaluate. Your model correctly classifies this image as a snowmobile, and its explanation highlights the snowmobile. So it's correct and focused on the correct region. This is promising, but you want to explore some additional examples. So you sample two more images from your dataset and see a similar pattern. Both are correctly classified, and the explanation highlights the snowmobile. So your confidence in your model is growing. But what if you were to sample again and get this image? Now you might not feel quite as confident. It's correctly classified, but its explanation highlights the helmet as opposed to the snowmobile. While helmets and snowmobiles are definitely correlated, you would not want your model to have learned a rigid dependence between the two. So the takeaway here is that selecting the right inputs to evaluate is hard. We have large data sets, so we can't evaluate everything. And depending on how we subsample, we could miss the most informative data points. This was the problem that led us to develop shared interest, a method to explore model behavior at scale. In shared interest, we start with a data set to analyze our model's behavior on. We quantify human decision making via ground truth annotations, and we explain model decision making via saliency. Here we use Lime applied to ImageNet images and their object level bounding boxes. However, shared interest is agnostic to data modality and saliency method. For each image, we quantify the relationship between the saliency and the ground truth via three coverage metrics, IOU coverage, saliency coverage, and ground truth coverage. IOU coverage measures the alignment between the saliency and the ground truth. Low IOU coverage indicates that those regions are disjoint, like our snowmobile image from before. High IOU coverage indicates the saliency and ground truth are almost identical. Saliency coverage measures the proportion of saliency features that are in the ground truth. Low saliency coverage suggests that few of the features salient to the model are also ground truth features, like in this image, where the train tracks are salient as opposed to the train. High saliency coverage indicates that almost all of the saliency features are ground truth, like in this example, where the saliency highlights a subset of the dog. Finally, ground truth coverage measures the proportion of ground truth features that are salient to the model's decision. Low ground truth coverage means that few ground truth features are salient, like in this example, where the saliency focuses on the biker as opposed to the bike. High ground truth coverage indicates all of the ground truth features are salient, like in this image where the saliency highlights the cab and the street behind it. Using these scores, each image in the dataset is quantified, allowing us to systematically sort and explore them to understand model behavior. Applying shared interest to a variety of models uncovered eight common cases of model behavior that persisted across modality, task, and saliency method. Each case is defined as a function of the model's output and the shared interest scores. For example, sufficient subset instances have high saliency coverage, low ground truth coverage, and are correctly classified. This case uncovers instances where a subset of the ground truth is salient to the model, such as the tractor tire to the tractor prediction. On the other hand, the distractor case contains incorrectly classified instances with low IOU coverage. This case uncovers instances where the model is distracted by secondary features, like the negative words, nothing awesome, elsewhere in the review. Now let's apply shared interest to a real-world use case, model-assisted dermatology. In this example, we have a computer vision model trained to predict melanoma from images of skin lesions. The model achieves high accuracy, but is it making decisions for the right reasons? Let's see. We've populated an interface with the images in our dataset and scored them using shared interest. Using the interface, we can filter for high and low shared interest scores, select a specific case, and view the score distributions. Let's begin by analyzing images the model gets right for the right reasons. To do so, we filter for correctly classified images with high IOU coverage. These images exhibit ideal model behavior 
because the features of the lesion are salient to the model's correct prediction. However, not many images have high ILU coverage, meaning not many images fall into this category. So let's explore some other model behaviors. Context-dependent images are correctly classified with salient features within and surrounding the ground truth region. Malignant examples are especially interesting because cancerous cells can lie outside of the pigmented area, so the model could be identifying subtle features. But the model should primarily rely on the lesion just like a dermatologist would, so this may warrant further analysis into lesion metadata. Finally, let's look at the sufficient context case. In these examples, background features are most important to the model's decision. Focusing on the benign images, we see our model has latched on to medical artifacts. In this dataset, artifacts only occur in benign images, so it is sufficient for the model to use them to make its prediction. But this is a dangerous flaw, because the model might say a cancerous lesion is nothing to worry about if an artifact exists in that image. Overall, shared interest helped us rapidly analyze the model's behavior, uncovering dangerous pitfalls and generating hypotheses to improve the model going forward. We can also use shared interest to query model behavior, enabling deeper analysis using a single instance. In this setting, we pre-compute saliency for all classes a model is trained on and interactively specify a ground truth region. Then, using the shared interest metrics, we uncover the classes with the highest alignment to that region. Here, for example, we set the ground truth to be the dog's face, and the interface returns the classes with the highest IOU coverage to that region. The return classes are types of dogs, and the saliency for each class is focused on the dog, indicating the model has learned generalizable visual features of dogs. Next, we select the man's hat. Even though this image is labeled otter hound, the classes with the highest shared interest to the hat region are other types of hats suggesting the model has also learned about secondary objects. Finally, we highlight the man's hand. Hand is not a label in the dataset, yet return classes are objects that would occur alongside a hand, like a notebook. It is promising that the model has learned correlations about unlabeled objects. However, this may warrant further analysis, because the model should not be dependent on the presence of a hand to classify a notebook. Overall, using shared interest in this style of what-if analysis we are able to rapidly test hypotheses about what the model has learned and where it might fail. In summary, shared interest enables efficient large-scale analysis of model behavior, so machine learning models can be properly evaluated and safely deployed. Thank you.